Hello everyone, today I'm going to run Antutu and Geekbench benchmarking apps uh, on my Samsung Galaxy uh, S6 Edge that is now running the official update uh, the, the Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 uh, At the moment I am installing the latest updates to the Antutu benchmark uh, application and after that I will be able to open it and see what the results were uh, when I ran the test earlier today. Uh, I'm not going to test again and run the full testing again because that will uh, take a lot of time and it's uh, uh, just a waste of your time guys I think. So I'm just going to show you the score here. It's 82,444. Uh, in terms of ranking this places my uh, device on fourth place among all the other um, flagship devices. That's quite good, I think. Just as a um, reference, I have to say previously the result for this same device was 80,054. This was placing the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge on seventh place here in the main ranking. Uh, we have run uh, Antutu and Geekbench before on this same phone, but it was running the beta version of Android 6.0. It wasn't updated to 6.0.1. Uh, and I'll give you a link down below in the description of this video with a reference to that old video so you can see for yourself uh, what the results were then. So there was def there is definitely an improvement here and I'm happy to report that um, this is really um, affecting the update, it's affecting uh, the Geekbench results uh, as well as Antutu uh, benching results in general. So run uh, this one, the Geekbench 3, just now because it doesn't take uh, that, that long and it will uh, give us a good idea of how the device is now performing with the official update. Again, as a reference, I have to say Previously, the 6.0, the beta version, um, had a single core score of 1464, so that's uh, 1464, where the multi-core score was 5076. So I'm really curious to see if we'll see improvement on these numbers here. I have to wait just a few seconds more and I'll be able to compare those results, as I said, to what previously was the beta version 6.0. So there you go, Geekbench score, interesting, I uh, have to say it's uh, a little bit less than what I, I've seen before. I'm curious why this is and to be honest I'm not quite sure that that's accurate and I'll run it again. It's obviously showing here operating system, Android 6.0 and so on and so on uh, because I think I'll run it again because I'm not quite sure that's accurate. Let's see, I'll run it second time just to see if that's accurate because I believe the numbers here should be better than the 6.0 beta update um, but let's see it could be my mistake that I, I think that should be the case let's see another few seconds sorry about that but I have to make sure that Geekbench 3 is getting the right information that it needs to assess the performance of the phone so let's see Okay, uploading results, even less this time. So, okay, let's say that's kind of official. Um, 461, uh, I mean, 1461, 1400, uh, seven, uh, 4754 for multi-core score, less than with the 6.0. And a bit strange, if I have to be honest, uh, there is information about operating system build and so on and so on. So you can see that my model ID is SMG925F. Probably that's why I've received the update. I will, and some other people haven't, uh, just to add. So here is the single core comparison and there is the multi-core comparison as well. So I hope this was useful for you guys and now you have a better idea of how the 6.0.1 is performing on those apps. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that thumbs up button and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.